in kotlin grouping related value is made easy with built in collection types okay so kotlin basically offers collections to organize related data efficiently now this collections will include types of lists sets and maps each will serve different data grouping needs these structures supports both read only as well as mutable versions for flexible usage so in today's video we will be learning how to work with lists in kotlin especially how we can create both read only and modifiable lists okay now let's start with the basic example so if you want to make a list that cannot be changed you will simply use the list of function so this makes the list as a fixed list okay and you can access its element but you cannot remove or add any element to it okay if you want that your list can be modified you need to use mutable list of function okay you can also specify the type if needed over here i have mentioned the type to be string now this list can grow or shrink as your program runs now sometime you want the flexibility to change the list but only expose it as read only to the outside world so in these cases you can write this syntax now over here shape locked is a read only view even though the original list shape is still mutable okay 